Happy Friday, everybody. Look what came in the mail. Here's that nice big two and an eighth inch impact socket that I ordered. Showed up today on my doorstep. Pretty nice. I'm gonna pan down a bit here. We'll look at all the parts that it's gonna take to put the pintle hitch back together. I wanted to see how the shaft of the pintle hitch fit into the sleeve and it got tight right there. So let's go take a look. I'm going to bring the, the hitch to Could be because of the paint, but I don't want to get it so far in there that I gotta go through that ordeal again with the come along and the chains and so I'm just going to polish it up again with these with this uh, polycarbonate four and a half inch disc. Let's see if I can set this up. Oh. All right. Let's have a quick look here. Now, in combination of the primer, I tend to primer things quite he heavily, but you can see in combination with the primer and the paint, there's quite a bit of buildup. And uh, anybody's a machinist watching this video you can see the the score marks where the tool had turned this down to the correct size so I'm gonna shine this up real fast off camera because it's gonna make noise and you don't need to hear that noise and I'll be right back all right got it all nice and cleaned up See how shiny it is. So let's go over and give it another shot. Last week, I did take. Yeah, those are the Canada geese coming back. I don't know. Anyway, so last week I did take the wheel cylinder hone and I honed the rust out of there. It's tight. Hmm. That's not good. Very interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check and see if the, the uh, shaft of this is straight or if it's bent. 
maybe I just need to go at it with the hone in the cylinder more. Either way, be right back. All right, so I checked the, the shaft of the pintel hitch and it's straight and true. So I'm thinking I need to get more rust. Uh, here's what here's what I'm using. Let's see if it'll camera will pick this up. It's just a wheel cylinder hone. And then I have a combination of WD-40 and Marvel Mystery Oil. And uh, a little quart bottle here. Did a great job. But I guess... Need to get more rust out of here. dark and dirty.
let's have a look. Gonna have to zoom out. Looks better, you can see the puddle of oil in there coming through. Um, these things are all supposed to be oiled. There's a, an oil can bracket that goes on the firewall in front of the passenger seat. Sorry, in front of the passenger's feet um, in the engine department. And you're supposed to drop oil on a lot of things like this. So uh, I'm going to keep going at this and uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I figured it out. So where my finger is on this sleeve, there's another sleeve on the inside. Let's see if we can see it. I'm going to get down under there. Yep. I'm going to go up. It's right here. So this second sleeve is inside this spring. And the spring acts as a shock absorber uh, when pulling cargo. And it, the sleeve in there was pretty gummy. So I made an extension right here for the wheel cylinder hone. And I was able I was able to get up in there. Let me pull the pintle hitch out. Fuckers, fuckers heavy. Okay, now you can see through it. And everything's nice and clean. But because the coil spring has a little bit of a bend to it, uh, getting the pintle hitch all the way in takes a little bit of effort. Oh, look at the front end of that weasel. I wanted to get to that thing this year, but work just gets in the way. So, yeah, all right. Let me set you up and I'll show you what I found, what I'm gonna have to do, which isn't hard. bit here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And a boom, boom. I've already had the pintle hitch in and uh, seated. And I can turn it. So it's just a matter of getting it in there as far as I can. And now it's seated, seated, and I can turn it. Before I couldn't even move that thing. So we're good to go to put it all back together. I've ordered some more paint. Uh, you know, I'll clean all this with uh, soap and water back here. Dawn took dishwashing liquid because they have oil spatter everywhere. Uh, yeah, let me get the parts and put it back together. They're just over here. Yeah. 
so you'll see with this big bolt I had to clean the paint off the shaft of the bolt. And I'll lube, lube it up a bit here. Keep rust from growing back. That's how it should operate. Nice and easily. And as the paint wears, wears off it'll go back together very well so I'm installing the castellated nut hmm. it's a little, a little difficult to see Okay, cotter pin in. Tap, tap, tapy, tap. Good. That's all I'm going to do today. I still have yet to put the, the catch and this pin through here. So, uh, nah, hang on. I'm going to have to shut you down just for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, through the magic of editing, I moved the camera. Okay, so what happens here? This bolt I have fits down through here and then threads into the bottom of the catch. You might be able to see in there that the bolt intrudes inside there. And this pin has a machined groove in it so what I have to do is this hmm. I gotta clean paint paint takes up room right back all right I'm back I had to clean the paint obviously let's see if it fits now oh okay that fits nicely <clears throat> goes around this way and then that pin just slips through
the way it's supposed to operate. Lift up on the catch, jaw goes up, the lunette eye of the trailer fits there obviously. Very nice. Perfect. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait to lubricate it. Like I said, I'm gonna clean everything back here and spray it again. That's pretty good. Yeah. And this big nut and bolt doesn't have to be, you know, gorilla tight, tremendously tight because. Cutter pin holding everything together. Yep, that's beautiful. All right, the only thing I have left to do is install <clears throat> the giant nut and washer. And cotter pin and I will do that tomorrow off camera which is that stuff there so thanks for watching this video hope everybody has a great night later